Hey, what is up everybody? I am Jason and you watch my channel, Micro Investor. All right, so in this video, I wanna talk about defense stocks. So I made a list of 10 stocks that do business in defense. And with government spending up in the United States, these are companies that get a lot of those orders. All right, so let's get to it. So the first one on this list is Arconic Incorporated, ticker symbol ARNC. This company has been around since 1888 and they have over 43,000 employees. Uh, they make metal parts for jet engines, aerospace, commercial, private, uh, defense, and for land, air, sea, uh, and space. Next is Boeing, ticker symbol BA. Boeing has been a company since 1916. They have 153,000 employees and they're actually a really big company. They have a market cap of $187 billion. And if you've ever flown on a commercial plane, uh, Boeing probably was the company that made the plane that you flew on. But Boeing is a huge defense company. Um, if you go to their website, you'll see everything that they make. Um, they make helicopters, fighter jets, drones, rockets, bombs, and they even make Air Force One. Next is General Dynamics, ticker symbol GD. They have a market cap of $52 billion, but I can't find out how many employees they have or how long they've been a company. Um, but they do have several different divisions. One of those divisions being uh, Electric Boat, which has, from what I can see, is they were established in 1899. And in 1954, they delivered the first nuclear-powered submarine. So they've done a lot of work for the government. And they do a lot of other things like cargo ships, uh, uh, land vehicles, etc. So they have a big account with the government and they have a lot of history with the government. Next is L3 Harris Technologies, ticker symbol LHX. They're founded in 1895. They have, uh, according to Yahoo Finance, 18,200 employees, but their website says they have over 50,000. Uh, anyways, the company's market cap is 45 billion dollars uh they have a cool video on their website if you're watching it it kind of looks like a movie trailer or something uh, but it doesn't really give you too much of an idea what they do you just know it's like a lot of defense military stuff uh, but from what i understand is uh they do a lot of uh, communications and intelligence that being you know radar radio um also satellite etc like that uh, but they do air land sea and uh, space defense Next is Lockheed Martin, ticker symbol LMT. They have a market cap of $112 billion. Uh, they have 105,000 employees, and they were founded in 1926. But if you look it up on Yahoo, uh, Yahoo Finance and say that they were founded in 1995, that is because um, Lockheed and Martin Marietta merged in 1995 to make it Lockheed Martin. Uh, but very similar to Boeing, Lockheed Martin does helicopters, fighter jets, missiles, drones, etc. Um, but I did notice that Lockheed Martin does make a lot more um, bombs and missiles and stuff like that. Next is a company called Northrop Grumman Corporation, ticker symbol NOC. They were founded in 1939. They have 85,000 employees, a market cap of $59 billion. Uh, so what it looks like that they pretty much do is like cybersecurity, autonomous weaponry, radar systems, a lot of intelligence and uh, cyber warfare. Um, I'm not sure what they did back in 1939, but that sounds like what the company has evolved to. Next is a company called Raytheon, ticker symbol RTN. They were founded in 1922. They have 67,000 employees at a market cap of $62 billion. Uh, they specialize in missile defense, electric warfare, cybersecurity, and precision weaponry. Next is Teledyne Technologies Incorporated, ticker symbol TDY. They were founded in 1960, have 10,850 employees, and a market cap of $13 billion. Uh, they make parts for missiles, aircrafts, radars, as well as they make batteries for these systems as well. Next is Transdime Group Incorporated, ticker symbol TDG. They were founded in 1993. They have 18,300 employees and a market cap of 300 billion. 
Uh, they make parts for aircraft as well as harnesses and parachutes. Next is United Technologies, ticker symbol UTX. They're founded in 1934. They have 240,200 employees and uh, they have a market cap of $132 billion. They do a lot of different things. Well, one of the things they do is aircraft engines for uh, commercial and military. They also make a lot of aircraft sensor systems, engine control systems, surveillance. Uh, United Technologies has a lot of different segments that they run out of. All right, that is a list of the 10 stocks. So as you can tell, some of these companies have been around for like 80 to 100 plus years. Uh, so the government has been doing a lot of business with them for a long time with the military, and they just kind of evolved from that. Uh, anyways, I'd like to know what you thought about these stocks. Um, if there's any other defense stocks that uh, you like investing into, please let me know. As always, everybody, like, share, comment, and subscribe. I have new videos coming out on my channel all the time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.